Hi there, this is Serana Telly and you're watching CMS TV. Stay colorful. From the oh, demolition dude. release, <laughs> is Tim Ripper Owens with uh, Judas Priest with uh, the Metal Messiah. That's right. So, Their rap tune. <laughs> yeah, and they were kind of capitalizing on what was going on at the time that that uh, CD was released. That's right. You no, know, but uh, an older, an older classic or legacy band trying to capitalize on what's hip and what's now. No, that doesn't it, ever work. <laughs> it just never works. It just never works. Yeah. The 90s were a weird time that, uh, you know, some of the older bands, whether they were from the 70s or the 80s, mm -hmm. were trying to do what uh, the Limp Biscuits or the the uh, Corns or, you know, whatever was popular during sure. that time. They were trying to do the same thing. And it was just like, that's not what you guys do. Yeah. It never. Is there one example of it working? No. I mean, I mean, you you can look at, you know, several of the '80s bands that we like, uh, mm. Dawkins or Warrant or whoever, but they tried to do the whole thing with uh, like Warrant with Belly to Belly and Ultraphobic and Dawkins with Shadow Life and yeah. Bigger and you know they they tried to you know fit in mm -hmm. and it, it just didn't work. Yeah, it, it's there's there's no really good examples of it ever. No, it's just like you guys do what you do. You mm -hmm. can't just change your whole way of doing stuff and think, yeah. oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, in league with what's yeah. currently happening because that's that's not your mo. The closest I'm gonna say, and I'm sure we could pick out other ones, but the closest I would say was would be fight. Yeah, might, might be the closest. Yeah, because nothing else that's come into my brain at all is you know somebody that left one of these bands and became like an industrial band or something that worked. Well, even Stephen Piercy tried that. Yeah, with Vertex. Yeah, Vertex. He tried to do the dark industrial shit with uh, Robbie Crane. Yeah, you know, when like a sun. One like a son. Yeah, that's just like, well, that's not happening. Yeah, that was not uh, that was not Stephen's finest hour to say. No, oh, I didn't hate it. I'm not gonna lie. For me personally, I didn't hate it. But. I didn't hate it either. But it was just like this isn't this isn't arcade. This is not rat. This is not what I know Stephen to be. Yeah, you know. But he he tried. You know, and and who else was trying to do something? Let's try. Let's give people a taste of this. Probably most people probably never heard this. Here's uh, Stephen, one like a son. Yeah, one like a son. that playing gu guitar for him is that frankie wilsey i don't think so he's trying to be zach wild i see who he's trying to be with yeah, the poses and I, stuff I, I but don't think that's i don't think that's frankie at all mm -hmm. almost oh, it's like uh what's that guy's name um his chick runs the dock in social media oh uh ira black ira black he Maybe almost it looks, is. That, that almost looks like ira black Let's see if we can catch another glimpse of him even those who pierced him and all those of us will suffer cause of him. Hallowed within upon your soul, give you a raise and then I'll go. Tell me a cigarette you got for me. I don't see a baby. I'm just shocking too. I don't think that's.
that's Irie either. Well, I don't think it is, but he kind of has that same look about him. But it's just kind of funny because Steven, you know, he, he obviously was the glam oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, it's Al Petrelli. Is that who that is? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was in Megadeth for a little while, right? Megadeth, Alice Cooper. Right. Um, Asia, Sabotage, TSO. Been a bunch of bands. Yeah, he's he's a session or he's a he's a uh, journeyman. Yeah. Now there he is. But that <laughs> that's kind of funny though, because uh, you know Stephen adapting to currently what's going on. Yeah. All in black. The whole band's dressed in black. Yeah, it's all dark and yeah. kind of like a dark. Like they've shunned their glam past. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> This is this is Stephen Piercy who wore the the eyeliner that went out to the sides and yep. <laughs> made him look like a rat. Yeah, now he's now he's dark Stephen Piercy. Right. Serious Stephen as he's known. That's just so funny. <laughs> no, I haven't I literally have not seen this in 30 years. Yeah, I I I, I used to play the disc every now and again on the metal show just because it drove people crazy. Like, because it would start out, they would think it's like new Nine Inch Nails or something. Then all of a sudden they'd hear Steven's voice. They'd be like, what are you pushing on us? <laughs> play some more of that. I, I I have not seen this forever. All right, here we go. The eyes of hate, I'll see you in hell. Are they filming this in front of the clock tower on uh, on Back to the Future? Might have been. Who knows? <laughs> I take I resent that comment on the screen there, Johnny oh, Fever. You love Widowmaker. Widowmaker is the best thing D. Snyder ever did. Wow, ever did, dude. I forgot. I forgot about this video. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen it. That's honestly. That's some crazy shit. Just to think about Stephen Piercy going from rat to, to, uh, arcade yeah. to doing this. Yeah. He's got the short hair, cut his hair uh, short. So trying, look... to, trying to be relevant. Yeah. I mean, he, this was just, just, got, you know, got the Metallica yeah. cut. <laughs> yeah. He, he's just, he's just within, you know, 12 to 24 months of a rat reunion. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Wow. Want more of this? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I'm looking at this, and it's just like, this is so foreign to me. Yeah, I'll watch some more. Why not? Here we go. Oh, 
on tour now with Marilyn Manson. <laughs> that drummer looks like the land of the rising sun. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who is that guy? Uh, um, well, Vertex, Stephen Piercy, Al Petrelli. Um, well, let's see who else is in the band here. Uh, that is um, Hero Kuratani. Drums, programming, keyboards, synthesizers, computer, and piano. And where did he go from there? <laughs> Beats me, Wang Chung. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea. I totally forgot about that. That's that's been a long time. Love yeah. me a long time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, when I see Steven later uh, this year, I'm yeah. going to see him a couple of times, but yeah. I'm, I got to ask him about this. About Vertex? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I got to find out what the story was here. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know Steven, you know, likes to stay current or relevant or, you know, whatever. But, uh, boy, that was way out of line of, you know, what we know Steven Piercy for. That didn't remind you of Lay It Down or Round Around? No, it didn't remind me of... Uh, Wanted Man? <laughs> no. <laughs> it didn't remind me nothing to lose. Come on. It sounds exactly the same. Yeah, I'm sure it did. <laughs> There's um. Let me find me. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's do some back to back in here. Uh, find find uh, nothing to lose. I mean, even that is more current than rat. You know. Do 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 do. Oops. Playing before I'm displaying. Share. got the same stage outfit <laughs> pretty much let's flip over to that now uh, but i know i know you're an arcade fan I love arcade I, I love arcade as well this sounds exactly like it see same song what? Same song. <laughs> I just like the greasy look. Yeah. Got the greasy hair and the, the black clothes and yeah. the, just, you know. He's gone from wanted man to unwanted man with this. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because this is like all like the dirty version of Steven. Steven unhinged. I guess. <laughs> well, when I see him, I'm going to have to. Ask him. Yeah, ask him uh, too. Tell, tell me about Vertex. Tell me what the story is with that. I'm curious if he still likes it. Like uh, that's always my thought with with Steven or any of these guys. Like when they when they do stuff that's like we know Don hates fucking Shadow yeah. Life. Well, I mean, he's made that very clear. Yeah. But I wonder, like, if we asked um, Joey Allen, is that his name? The, yeah. One of the Warrant dudes. Yeah. From, if he liked altrophobic or, yeah, or, or, Ellie or, Ellie. or even the one with um jamie on it you know the the whisk what was that something juice yeah bumbling juice or something i don't remember what it was called <laughs> yeah. whiskey juice <laughs> something i don't remember what it was called it was fucking not good but right 
But I, I just wonder if they listen back to that sometimes and they're like, if they're like, all right, that was good for the time. Or if they're like realistic and go, man, that it's fucking like, sucked. Well, you know, we were just doing what we had to do at the time. Yeah. And I get it. I'm not trying to say it's a the wrong. I mean, I get what St- Stephen was trying to do was keep his career alive. You know, but man, it was called whiskey juice. I think whiskey juice. I think that's. What I don't remember what it was called. Devil's juice. Devil's juice. Was it with devil's juice? I think it's devil's juice. All right. Maybe. Let me see. Warrant juice. Devil's juice. All right. Devil's juice with James hear- St. James. Yeah, you want to hear that? Sure. <laughs> Since we're just fucking around. Sure. <laughs> fucking around to the finish line. Right. Here's devil's juice from Warrant. With uh, our good friend Jamie St. James. Yeah. We like Jamie. Yeah. Don't know that we like this album, but we like Jamie. All right. Here we go. <laughs> She's my cherry pie. Well, that's kind of where they were going. They were trying to keep it, keep it in line with what people know. Yeah, this is not what I want to play, though. If we're going to play Warrant, let's go to find me an ultraphobic song. Warrant, ultra phobic because this is where this is maybe i love this album i'm I'm not in full disclosure i absolutely love this album but i get why most people don't because this does not sound like fucking warrant at all well they were trying to sound modern or current right so this was the hit family picnic remember this this, 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 this was the this was the hit this was the hit. All right. So got the video and everything. So, so here, almost, almost 30 years ago. Yeah. This was this was when Warrant tried to modern up. <laughs> this was 28 years ago. Yeah. All right. So here it is. This is this is Warrant with Family Picnic. Oh shut up. Shut up. Child abuse. Again, the dark clothes. <laughs> Everything is dark. Jamie, Jamie wearing a black shirt, no color, dark video, black and white. <laughs> but this doesn't sound anything like Warrant. Nothing. All right, here we go. And who turns to Warrant to looking for a message about child abuse? Just they were stop. Being, they were being responsible because they were older married men. Yeah. Put this up here for a second. No, it wouldn't have been Jackal. Your call would have sucked. So shut it. Well, what what's interesting about uh, this this lineup? Yeah. Is that they adopted a couple of Kingdom Come members in this uh, lineup? Is it? Who? Rick Steyer and uh, James Kotak. 
Is this Kotak? I thought it was that other guy. No, that's Kotak on drums. Oh, well, warrant come. All right, here we go. Do can you even imagine being married with some chick every single fucking day in your life, waking up with some same chick, just miserable fucking cunt? No, just hating your guts. No, I no. wish I was married to you know Jack from you know my senior year. He's a multi-millionaire. Yeah. He he established a it business good for you good for him <laughs> like whatever just go then pig Dude, I, I will never even think about fuck no we're too being, old for that shit being in a in a permanent relationship ever again we're too old for that shit i know it's like i can't i couldn't even imagine dude kelly sent me a text that her fucking tv or something wasn't working this week and she's the worst with fucking electronics right and i literally texted her back this is why we could never date you'd fuck up my stuff because <laughs> i i can't even fathom that i can't even fathom i can't fathom being in a world where somebody else is touching my stuff yeah no Stop messing shit up around here. I just can't. I mean, I I try to get along with everybody, and I try to share everything I have. But, man, if I went to work what, to try and start working some morning and my fucking computer had a blue screen of death on it or whatever, I would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> go drink the coffee. And if you're going to fuck up the coffee machine, go build a fire in the backyard and fucking cook it that way with a pan. Right. Don't fuck up my electronics. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. All right, you want more of this dumb warrant video or no? I, I forgot. You know, again, I've totally forgot about this. This has just been, you know, so many years ago. I know. Long time. And it, right. it, it just kind of came and went without notice. Yeah, it's not very good, but right, we'll go to the chorus anyway. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, in fairness, he was really whomping the shit out of her. He deserved a good bullet. <laughs> so this kid picks up his forty-four and blows his father away. Yeah, but watch the watch the beating this woman has taken here. I know. It's this just is like, well, well, she deserved it. <laughs> this is fucking Mike Tyson on a fucking bum. Yeah, wow. Here we go. Boom. As it should be, right? I know this shit kind of happens. I know it happens. Yeah. But, you know, again, this was 30, almost 30 years ago. Yeah. And this was depicted as the, the you know, the normal, the, the family norm, as it were. Right. It's like, holy shit. Dude, but the messenger on this is my problem. Every other song in this band's career was about getting pussy. Right. And now she, all of a sudden it's a fucking child abuse band? Yeah, she's my cherry pie, man. Yeah, love in stereo, bed of roses. This is all about fucking. And all of a sudden the, the, the fuck band... The, you know, the minor league poison, let's talk about pussy band, is is singing about the horrors of child abuse. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Some manager didn't see that as odd? Well, what I hate to admit, somebody we've actually had on the show before. Yeah. This was 
produced by Bo Hill. Was it? <laughs> it was. It was produced by Bo Hill. Hey, Bo has house payments too now. <laughs> so, wow, everything was dark. Yeah, dark. Everything was no fun anymore. Yeah, even no the kid. Fun, no fun. No more fun. Yeah. No more cherry pie for you, pal. That's right. No more pie, period. It's about kids and guns and domestic violence and I hate your fucking guts and That's you right. suck. Yeah. I'm going to shoot you, dad, for pummeling mom. <laughs> All right. Now I got to see how this ends. If the police come and arrest the kid or what? I've never seen this video ever. So let's see here. Let's see how this rolls. <laughs> Is that Juliette Lewis? So she takes the rap for her kid. That's what yeah. it's all about. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so it's good, her mom. Kid, her kid blows away her, the father. Yeah. But because she wants to kind of save her kid, she she takes the rap by picking up the gun and putting her prints on it. Yeah. So we're gonna spend the second half of this video with this kid getting beat up in like a fucking homeless sesh, or not a homeless. Uh, a, a, a detention center for the kid or something? Yeah, a uh, an orphanage. A, yeah, or, orphanage or <laughs> or what do you call the shelters for kids? Um, I think an orphanage. Yeah, yeah. Is that what the second half? Is that Juliet Lewis? I can't quite tell yet. I can't tell either. All right, let's see. Hey, we all So she goes from getting beaten by the by the husband to now she's getting a brow beaten by the detectives. Yeah, and James Kotak is beating out the drums. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, like the husband beat her head. Yeah. Look at this guy. Look at this hey. fucking Steve Buscemi wannabe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And everybody wearing flannels. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's what the, a fun time. In Nirvana. The nineties sucked. Most of it did, I will admit. I, I mean, I, I picked out a couple of bands that I liked from the 90s, but the very most of it was yeah, just... Everybody's dude. wearing flannel. Oh, all that fucking depression rock was just yeah, a bit much. Dark and heavy and, yeah. oh, my life sucks. Yeah. It's just the worst and... God. Right, let's, see, let's see where this goes. <laughs> Now, this would be a great ending if the kid just walks in there and shoots the mother. <laughs> It'd be great. I loved my daddy. Boom. This is the worst, man. This is really bad. <laughs> Let's see. Enough with the scrolling message. Three million kids are abused. Shut up. <laughs> What's You're funny is that Janie Lane is still wearing the cherry pie hat. <laughs> the, the reality is half those kids being abused are probably kids that they fucking fostered backstage at shows in the last 10 uh, years before this. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. All right. Here's some more. Uh, wow. 
why would anybody who enjoys rock music want a serious message? <laughs> it's it's always been about just like a good time and having a beer and smoking some weed and just kind of kicking back. But now everybody's like serious with like a a, a, a message. There's a message here. Yeah. I, I can see the only way I can see it is if something happened in their life, like recently too, not, not when they were kids, right. but like if, if some fan came up to Janie and said, Hey, help me. My dad's fucking me in the ass or something. And he grabbed the kid and helped him. And then he wrote a song about it. Okay. I, I'm with that. This is just overview. And again, if you rage against the machine, fine. You're already unhappy. We get it. But these guys, their whole thing was partying. What was Warren before this? They were not known for anything but partying. Well, I'm going to use a cliche term here. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's it. That's it. Now they're the serious band. They're yeah. they're all about causes now. Yeah, now they're death warrant. It's like Jesus Christ, are you serious? Apparently they are. Oof. Here we go. Glad we got that scrolling message coming by too to keep us yeah, informed. Four percent of criminals were a child abuse man. Yeah, man. And who who does this speak to? Didn't speak to Janie much because he just drank himself to death right after it. Oh, he was abused as a child, man. His name was John Oswald, like John Kennedy Oswald. He was John Kennedy who was shot by Oswald. So that affected him for his whole life. Put him into the, put him into the bottle. Apparently Oof, this is really not very good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, stop. Warrant and Jensen speakers urge you to make the call. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello, uh, abuse hotline. Um, I got your phone number from Warrant and Jensen speakers. Wow. They said you could help me. My dad's beating my ass regularly. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with this. Are you kidding <laughs> So this this party happy time go lucky band yeah is now a serious we're we're down with the child abuse yeah we're 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 here to save your children we're not, now, now that we done fucked all your women for the last ten years now we're here to save your children right of Jesus wow all right here we go. Wow. So moving. <laughs> there was a message there. Yeah. The message was stop listening to Warrant, and everybody did. <laughs> Good grief. Wow. Do you remember that other song they did, A-Y-M? Yes. That's another bad one. See, let's find that one real quick. A-Y-M. Is there no video? There's no video, but... Let's play the song a little bit, and then we'll get the fuck out of here. But check this, check this out. What were they thinking here? Just total shit Sonic level, too. Instead of the big arena rock sound that a warrant is known for, you get this, what would you call this? C 
cardboard drums. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just all sounds all muddy and just fucky. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Nice, Janie's out of key, fucking using the fucky effect. Oh, it's all here. Well, that's the whole thing about the mid '90s. They were using that whole bull bullhorn effect. Yeah. Every every record that you heard from the mid '90s, they were using that uh, Stone Temple Pilots effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not good. It's Oof. terrible. Just misery. All right, here's some more of this. <laughs> Because he's an angry young man now. Yeah. The whole bull, the bullhorn effect yeah. is just terrible. What's the, what, you know what the worst part about this is? They somehow thought this was so good that there'd be a volume two. Because this is belly to belly volume one. Right. They thought there'd be a, they thought there'd be a demand for more of this. This is shit. Just dog shit. All right, here's some more. Is he purposely singing, like, out of key? Again, it's just trying to fit in with what's going on at the time. It's just like, I'm trying to be hip. I'm trying to be current. Yeah, but he had a better voice than that. I agree. That is misery. Oh. <laughs> All right. Do we really want to hear? I don't even want to hear more of this, do you? It's terrible. Fuck this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's leave on a bad note tonight. All right. Well, since you said you want to leave on a bad note, I already got a tune. Uh, All right. Cute. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Another band, my favorite. Doc. Nice. Uh, they put out a terrible record in <laughs> 96 called Shadow Life. Yes. And the quote unquote, the boss hit bound single. Oof. Well, sh uh, pop it on a string. Yeah, the puppet on a string. What a fucking terrible song. Uh, yeah, it was all the fucky effect and, you know, current, whatever was going on. Mm -hmm. Yada, yada, yada. It's terrible. Yeah, George Lynch just not soloing. <laughs> you know, again, we're, we're trying to be current, man. Yeah, well, they failed too. Oof. Yeah, it was terrible. Yep. And this came out exactly at the same time that uh, Warren Belly to Belly and uh, um, what was the other one? Um, Ultraphobic or um, Ultraphobic came out. Yeah, same exact. Two. Oh. This was all part of that CMC conglomerate, yeah. CMC International. <laughs> what did uh, Lawn Friend call that? Uh, cheese metal. Cheese uh, metal coffin or something? Yeah. yeah <laughs> CMC cheese yeah. metal. Cacophony or something. yeah, something. All right, all right. We're gonna get out of here. Yes, sir. So, so I'm gonna leave you with a terrible song. Great, puppet on a string. Fantastic. 
Uh, we'll be back next Saturday. We'll do this thing all over again. Yep. I know this this six hours went by fast. Yeah, it went way too fast. It's like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I, there was more stuff I wanted to get to, but... Uh, well, I won't do any research this week because I'm going to be nose deep in stuff. So next week is an all Neely show. We're business people, man. That's right. We don't have time to sit here and entertain you kids. That's right. Forever, but uh, there's a lot of material to cover. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. We'll be back next Saturday. We'll do more stuff. Cool. So I'm going to leave you with a shitty tune from Dokken. <laughs> this came from uh, 1996 Shadow Life, and this is Puppet on a String. So until next Saturday night, this is Neely, along with my very good friend, Chris Egan. We're gone. Bye, kids.